buddy. It's like spray spinner. And I got a box from Amazon and it's got some stuff in it that I'm gonna use to make some videos. And I thought that I would just do a quick unboxing video. Oh, the stuff. of a teaser taster Let's see I mean everything in this box is a very ASMR but well most of it is so got some scissors this is going to be. It's probably going to bang the base of the microphone. So. There we go. It's the two sides. This isn't for ASMR. This is um, I bought another SanDisk MP3 player. Um, I've had one of these because uh, I wanted an MP3 player with buttons that I could hit instead of my. change songs while you're listening to it in the dark you have to like actually look at it so a couple of years ago I decided to just get a cheap mp3 player and so I bought a sand disc and it's mm, two or three years old now and it's broken but it only costs like 25 pounds maybe so I thought time for a new one so that's this is for me this isn't for you Okay, what have I got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I bought some play foam. I love. This is another one of those things that I just love. I love kinetic sand videos, so I thought, why don't I make one? So, finally got myself. I like how it says, um, magical, mesmerizing, soothing, and relaxing. It never dries out. 
easy to shape and mold, wheat, gluten, and casein free. Oh, well, as I won't be eating the kinetic sand, not entirely sure that matters, but maybe it does. You know badger balls? I have, I've tried quite a few. Um, let's see, will it like focus? Come on, there we go. I've tried a few different badger balls, um, including the one for sore muscles, but the, they've got like cayenne pepper in them and it's just a little bit too hard on my skin, but this is my favorite. You can use it as a lip balm and let's use the scissors. I find that as part of my bedtime routine, I like to put on some of this. On your lips and on your temples. And you can put some on your pulse points. Might be the one for children, but it's aloe vera based, I believe. The other ones are, let's see, olive oil, castor seed oil, aloe, lavender, sandalwood, mandarin, spearmint, and Roman chamomile. one up right now. I don't, um, I've never used this before, but Aaron's thinking, buddy. But I thought it might make a fun video. plan on playing with any of the stuff that I bought today, but I guess I'm, I don't need any special equipment for this. Right. Okay. I got this one because it's supposed to change color when you handle it, but maybe I should have gotten shimmery one because it's fairly warm outside so it doesn't it's not changing color I think because it's too warm already maybe I need to put it in the freezer for a bit and then Pretty quiet, actually. I wasn't sure what was fun about this, because I don't know, I don't, I'm not into Silly Putty. Not even as a kid, I didn't really like Silly Putty. But this is a lot drier than I was expecting. And often, when people show you, like, when kids have sort of tins of putty, like, I don't know, younger cousins or 
nieces and nephews. Oh, there we go. Sort of snapped. Um, it's usually like full of crumbs and stuff, just to be honest. Mm. It's not really something I feel like playing with, but actually now that I'm playing with it, <laughs> I can see why people like it. I believe this is classified as like a fidget toy. I want to bounce it, but I think it will be too noisy because my microphone does not have a like a thing to prevent the vibration noises from coming through. slimy at all. It's not sticky, it's not slimy, it's... It's just kind of weird actually. feel like it would bounce pretty well. I don't know. Anyway, you guys. That's what I bought. Um, I'm planning on, well, I don't know, doing a play phone video and then a separate what to put down like a tray or something for the sand so that it doesn't get everywhere. I think the play foam doesn't need the same kind of like setup because it doesn't, it's just not going to get everywhere. It's not going to make a mess, but I think the kinetic sand you follow me on Twitter or have seen my blog, I'm working on an ASMR video that's a animated space fairy makeup role play. So um, I've got to finish up on that, but there's a lot of work to be done on it. I've basically designed the character and she's ready to go, but I have to record the audio and the sound effects to go with it and do the animation and I'm using a new tool for the animation so that isn't even really the hard part because the character is kind of a puppet really so she's ready I just have to do the audio and um, kind of do the performance and then there's some post-production special effects I want to do. Like I want her hair to be a, sort of a spacey star field because she's supposed to be a space fairy. <laughs> and so I've got that and that's kind of 
kind of a long-term work in progress, but if you want to see what the Space Fairy looks like, um, go click on the Twitter link or go to my blog and there's like a little screenshot you can see of that. So that's more of a long-term project and um, I'm really hoping This unboxing video is turning into a bit of a vlog, I guess. Anyway, um, oh, I'm enjoying playing with this too. So sorry. <laughs> this is getting boring. But um, also, I uh, wanted to say I've been meaning to do some more Swedish ASMR. I might do the play foam video or the kinetic sand video in English and in Swedish just because you know, I've got some Swedish viewers and there's not a huge amount of Swedish ASMR out there so I wanted to do that for you guys and I haven't played any video games in a while and I need to do that too because some of you guys really like the um, video game one so I need to play some Lotro I just haven't, haven't been playing those games. Um, I recently got a PlayStation 4, and we've been playing um, Star Wars Battlefront, my husband and I, and that's quite fun, and it's one of the few games we can kind of play together. Um, but otherwise, on PlayStation 4, the only thing I've played is Journey, which is a wonderful game. I mean, it, it brought me to tears at the end, really. It's just a really lovely, lovely game. And I know it's a few years old now, but I really recommend it. And um, other than that, I haven't done too much on the PlayStation 4. And I don't think there's any way to really record an ASMR video while playing PlayStation 4. Or if there is, it requires a bit more setup than I sort of have the time and inclination. But, you know, as I always say, I really like doing things on my channel. It's just kind of fitting it in to everyday life. And I think if you watch ASMR's vlogs, that's kind of a common thread. find the time and you have to be in the right mood and it's just kind of like a labor of love really so you just do it when the mood is right and when you've got the sort of spirit energy going to do that stuff and sometimes it can be hard to find that time and as you know everybody's got their own life going on and you've got to deal with that kind of stuff and we're we've been house hunting and if you've ever done that it's it's really it's exciting and stressful and um, also it because it's summer people are really active and in a way I think even more so in the UK because the weather's so bad some of the year everybody kind of goes into hibernation and then summer happens and everybody wants you know everybody wants to see each other and it's everybody's come out of winter hibernation and every weekend gets booked up and um, this last week or two has been just say it's been pretty eventful and stressful, but in the world of ASMR, we're all about the tingles, so that's why I'm hoping to bring you some nice things, some phloem and some kinetic sand. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm really excited too that I got amount 
and get a random color or I can pay about a third more and choose the color and um, I decided to save some money and let them choose the color for me and I got a nice color so I'm very happy about that anyway I've rambled enough and I hope the things that make you feel better and get lots of sleep and try to eat some nutritious food once in a while <laughs> which is a real laugh coming from me because I ate McDonald's today which was not <laughs> healthy but don't do it very often and to think what did my friend say she said uh, McDonald's exists to make expats feel better so if you are American and you're living abroad sometimes the fastest and cheapest way to feel like you're <laughs> visiting back home again is to just go through the drive through at McDonald's because it tastes the same wherever you are, if you are in, I don't know, Peoria, Illinois, or Frankfurt, Germany, or wherever, Chicken McNuggets taste the same, right? So, okay. I think I'm gonna let you go, and, you know, as much as I thought that this might be a big waste of money, it's actually Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Take care now.